Hello and welcome back to Unbound Being. Today I wanted to speak about the main character. So who is the main character or personage that is playing in your mind movie? Now, you see, there's the, people call it the body mind, which is this body and the mind, right? They say the body mind. Well, who is the body mind? What's the body mind? Well, in fact, the body is perfect. There's nothing wrong with the body. The body is here now. And the mind is also here now, but what the mind concerns, it's concerns itself with is not here now, which is the narrative, the story. And the story is usually about the main character. And who's the main character in your mind movie, right? Who's the main character in your mind movie? You can see the body is part of, of the, the variable objects in existence. All this, including this body and all the other bodies are all in God's mind or in life's mind or in the Leela, the divine play of the universe itself in form. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's all here now. Everything that's here now is fine. The body is here now. The, bo the body doesn't wander off into the past and the future as the thinking mind does through memory. That only is done by the narrative, by the, the main character of the movie. So what are you concerned with? That's really the question, you see? Because your body is fine. Wherever I appear, intelligence, I am looking out and I'm here. And this body happens to be one of the portals, one of the apertures through which I, the one I in the universe, is looking. So why then do most people not concern themselves really with the body, but about the narrative of this body? So in other words, they believe there is this historical body, this creature of time, which is the monkey mind the thinking mind which goes off and thinks about all the concerns it has for the narrative the, of the main player of the movie. So what is your mind busy with? Is it busy with the main player of the movie? Because there's nothing wrong right now with anything. Even if you're being chased by two pit bulls, all is well in God's mind. It's only until the storytelling of the mind is concerned most of the day with working out where it was, where this body-mind was, where it has to go, what it's doing, what it has to worry about, what is possibly going to come and harm it so badly, and all about that one individual body that is the person as from which the eye is just looking, the camera through which I, intelligence, am looking. This is just a body aperture. This is just a camera body. Right? This is just one of God's plays, one of God's pieces in the play. But the mind says, no, 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 I'm the most important one, and I'm going to be talking about it. So in other words, you have two differences. You have the terrestrial intellect, the absolute, which is a higher level of being, which is God's mind, which is actually completely now. And then you have the thinking mind, which is busy with a narrative that is fictional. It's a time-created entity that says, I was born back then, and I'm living this life, and next week i got to go do this and go to the bank. And When that becomes the total obsession, which for most people it is, it becomes your torture. It becomes the very cause of suffering. And it is the very cause of suffering on earth. All suffering comes from people who are obsessed with a fictional narrative, main character movie player, which they think is this body and everybody else, you know, secondary. So what are you thinking about? Because if you're thinking, 95 to 99% of all thinking is taking place in the mental mind for purposes of the narrative of the main character movie acknowledging itself having an existence which it actually has not. There is no last week, there is no next week, there is no last year, there is no next year. There's only now. And now everything is fine. This is God's play. In God's narrative, you are a player. But you're here now, you're present. But then comes along this captain of the ship that thinks it wants to steer everything. And in the beginning, as a child, you're pretty okay. But then over the years, it finds that well, I got to be at the steering wheel 24 hours a day. Whenever there's something, the thinking mind, the narrative of this grand movie player, which considers itself to be this body existing in time and having to worry and stress out and concern itself all the time with some things that are not here, all the things that are not here. This is the thinking mind. You see, the play of life itself here and now the terrestrial intellect, the higher level of being, is here now and it's fine. It's only the human mind which introduces this main character of the movie that's always concerned with the fictional time entity of 
where I'm going to go, where I've been, what I've got to do, and working that out. And then people wonder why they suffer, why they're stressed, why they're not anymore where they used to be when they were kids, so free and so happy, jumping around in the mud in the rain and just no worry in the world. Well, of course, they didn't have this damn pirate captain standing at the steering wheel thinking that it can actually steer everything and has to control everything. So think, 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 think. Yes, don't be that. Don't be that narrative main character of the movie all day. Be still. Be quiet. Be here. Life is good. It's right here. There is no other thing than here. And plan the things you need to plan. Take action. But besides that, just remain as what you are. You are a part of God's mind now. And the now is always good. Hmm. Just be now.